Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today is my third video, this is coming out a day later than expected. However, we're going to be going into the same article that we've gone over in the last two videos, which I'll be linking in the top right corner of the screen, so the first one will be now and the next one will be afterwards, so you can go check them out if you haven't watched them. But, today we're going to be talking about the crossover portion of Deadline's new article. And so, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so the first question, let's go ahead and get right into this, comes from Deadline, as do all the other questions. Deadline say, were there any plot lines that you thought about taking in a different direction or story elements you thought about including, or did the concept for the episode, that being the finale, remain the same from your initial breaking of story all the way up to production? And so this is in regards to the season 7 finale. And in response to this, the Flash show runner Eric Wallace replied, Everything has remained the same. Everything that I wanted to make sure we as a writing staff were able to address pretty much got addressed. I think there's only one little thing that's hanging a little bit, but that's on purpose, and that's Iris's time sickness. That plays a big role in Season 8, so we wanted to not resolve that in the finale. There was actually a deleted scene from the finale that didn't quite work for a lot of reasons. It did address Iris's time sickness, but we decided it would be better to save it for the beginning of Season 8. Now, I think Eric's response to this you know, makes a lot of sense and it does tie into the season 8 crossover stuff we're going to be talking about because basically we're talking about like plot threads that are going to continue and go into season 8. So Iris's time sickness was literally not referenced at all in the finale and lots of people picked up on this including myself and thought it was a bit weird that they didn't even reference it. So I feel like they should have included one scene to say yes it's a thing and we're going to resolve it next season but instead they chose to ignore it. But it's good that they're actually continuing and not just forgetting about it because shows do this sometimes where they're like, oh yeah, let's bring up this plot thread. But no, it was only because, you know, this actor couldn't be here at this certain time, so we created an excuse for them not being there, right? But then not go through with it. But in this case, they are going through with it, so at least I'll give them credit for that. And so that's going to be going on at the start of season eight. And you know, I look forward to seeing how that's resolved. It was a bit random when it first appeared on the show because it was as an excuse because Candace wasn't on the set, so they needed a reason. So Iris was sick, that was their reason, and it turned out to be something bigger than just being normally sick. It was a time sickness, as Eric says. But anyway, let's move on and talk about the next question. So Deadline asks, where are you at with season 8? And he responds, the writer's room has just convened, and this was like a week ago. We're a couple of weeks in and we're going to kick the season off, as has already been announced, with our five-part special event. Now, because it's coming up so fast, I did have to really formulate this story for the five-part event, because we had to finish writing season 7 at the same time, so it was a little crazy, but what it did it gave us a great continuity between season 7 and season 8. So again, for example, with Iris's time sickness, we know exactly where we're going with that next year and how it will resolve. The writing's going well. A lot of the same writers and directors will be returning this year. We're very excited and who knows, there might be a few very unexpected special guest stars on our special event. So we want folks to stay tuned. So yeah, that is Eric's answer for where they're at at season eight. The writers have been writing for about three weeks now. It was two weeks when the interview went up. That was last week on Tuesday night, I believe it went up. So I reckon they talked like the day or so before. So basically it's been like three weeks and they've been working on season eight and even whilst finishing season seven in terms of writing, they were starting on season eight because they had this five part event which they had to plan and get everything like logistically together because it's going to have guest stars as he does tease in his answer. So that means that you're going to have to be like, can this actor come over at this certain point and film in this episode because we really need them and want them on our special event as they're calling it, even though it's been referred to as like a crossover event, like a five part crossover just on the flash. 
but Eric is specifically referring to it as a special event, so he doesn't want to like hype people up too much, saying it's like a big crossover because it's going to be like probably one guest star per episode, and they won't be like big overarching stories, but they'll be like small individual stories, I think. So they have planned that out right now, and apparently they're going to have good continuity between season seven and eight, which makes sense because I mean that is what. You're supposed to do on a TV show, but it's good to hear that the writing is actually going well and lots of people are returning. That probably means that he's pretty happy. I don't know about the network, but it seems like they are maybe taking on board some of the criticisms about this season, although like the ending was pretty good. So they're in a decent place right now to start off with season eight. But anyway, let's continue with Deadline's next question. Are you planning a crossover event? For the end of next year and obviously this is a follow-up question because he referenced the five-part special event which is inferred that it is a crossover event and so Eric says no at least not at this point there are still a lot of COVID protocols in place which limit a lot of things we can do as a production however with this five-part event we want to deliver the same feeling to the audience that you would get with a crossover kind of story that's really the goal here to give them something that's not just an ordinary season premiere, something special, in terms of the guest stars that will be joining us, but also in the story that we're telling. It is a little bit bigger than usual for The Flash, which was very exciting. I think it will give people that sense of scope that you sometimes feel both emotionally and in the action sequences with a crossover, without actually having 20 characters in one scene. So that is Eric's response. So as I said before, it's pretty much the five part event is going to be the kind of scope of a normal crossover and it's going to have special guest stars and they're going to try and make it feel something like that, although not having 20 characters in one scene. And as we knew, this was like their replacement for a crossover because we know that, you know, there is protocols in place that prevent like 20 people from ongoing shows crossing over and like filming for weeks on end together. Like that's pretty hard until, you know, all the sort of rules relax and hopefully next year we do get a crossover event, which would be amazing because it's been quite a long time. Like Crisis was in 2019 and went into the start of 2020. That was the last crossover event we got. And so it would be great to have a new one sometime soon. But for now, it's very exciting that we do have this five part special event. Also, the Diggle stuff this year was supposed to be bigger, but it wasn't really a crossover event in the end. It was just like one character showing up and his only main role has been on The Flash so far. Like he showed up on Superman Lois, Batwoman. He was a different character in Legends, so it doesn't really count. It's just David Ramsey there. So I guess it's a David Ramsey crossover in terms of that. But yeah. Also, his Supergirl episode is still yet to come, so maybe he's going to play a big role in that like he did in The Flash. But, so, we didn't really get a big crossover this season at all. So, Eric's goal is pretty much as we expect, like, they don't want it to make it feel like a normal, ordinary season premiere, or like the next couple of episodes to feel very ordinary, but to give something special to the fans in replacement for the crossover. Okay, so the final question from Deadline is, so the special event is a temporary replacement for the standard Arrowverse crossover necessitated by COVID restrictions? Wallace replies, exactly, and don't get me wrong, we do love to do a traditional crossover, but we're just not there yet. With COVID protocols and things, it's just not possible. And so that pretty much sums up my thoughts and what Deadline was thinking when they were asking these questions. Obviously, it's like one after the other, it's like he brings it up, they ask about the crossover, and then it's like, yes, is this a replacement? And Eric confirms it's a replacement. So what do you guys think about all of this? Obviously, I'm very excited for the five part episode. I'm sure you guys are because like, we're probably gonna see like Stargirl show up, Superman from Superman Lois, hopefully like Black Lightning and all these other characters that are in the Arrowverse who are probably the most likely to show up. It would be great to see Supergirl or someone be included even though it's unlikely that schedules will align because The Flash doesn't go back to film until like mid-August so in just over two weeks time. So actors will start flying in soon and if we know the specific actors that are flying in we probably will find out who is going to be the special guest stars in The Flash's first five episodes. But for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. 
subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. We make daily videos here so don't go anywhere and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch one of my newest videos and for now I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.